Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabtu fillah the question was asked would you say that the best way for a sister to get out of the oppression of her parents that they're causing her for covering up would be to get married to a practicing brother so really there's many details to issues like this and our scholars of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'a have dealt with these issues uh, and obviously it depends upon the specific situation but in general some of the options for sisters especially new Muslims and this tends to be the case and sometimes from people who were born in the deen however but their parents are not practicing and they force the sisters to either not cover or to uh, to do un-Islamic things or it's just the un-Islamic environment and they are sometimes oppressive and harmful to the to the women for practicing their deen so in these types of situations if the sister has the means uh, and knows other good sisters as the Prophet ﷺ said that a person is upon the uh, religion of his companions then this is khair azim if she can find good compatible roommates if that is not an option Compatible roommates, meaning from sisters, good practicing sisters that can remind her of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, can be a strength for her, and that they can strengthen one another and remind one another of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their duties to Allah azza wa jal. And if that is not the case, uh, and there is continual oppression in the household, then if a sister finds a suitable brother, then obviously this is also khair azim as well. However, what I would say to a lot of new Muslim sisters and sisters in those types of scenarios is not to be musta'ajil. Do not be uh, in a hurry because hurriedness uh, is from the shaitan. And that sometimes what we see is sisters, they embrace Islam or they're in the scenario similar to that and they rush to marry the first brother. He may seem like he's on the religion. And perhaps he may be on the religion. But however, in this day and age when we see kethra to talaq, we see so many divorces that we have to be cautious of that. And especially for our young people. Because many of the young sisters and many of the young brothers are not only immature, but they are not even built like the youth in the past and what I mean is it, it seems that youth uh, generation by generation are much more fickle and not as independent and not independently thinking and not with strength in their intellect in the same way that we see uh, that we saw in the past uh, and so meaning that perhaps social media perhaps the uh, just the, the societal pressures that there's a lot more anxiety. There's a lot more people suffering from mental disorders. There's a lot more people who suffer from stress disorders. There's a lot more people who suffer suffer from fickleness. So it is off is it's something to be aware of also of being in a hurry to jump in a marriage, even if you are excited, even if you're uh physically inclined you you're you're attracted and you want to marry and you want to live that part of your life and experience that joy but often unfortunately what we find without the support especially of families that there are many uh, divorces and this comes with all age groups so it is something to be cautious of and be cognizant of to not be always in a hurry just to jump up and marry the first brother even if he sounds good make sure that you know about him make sure that you are looking at compatibility and goals make sure that you are looking for longevity make sure that you understand marriage is uh, is a sin uh, a serious bond and that there are rights and responsibilities make sure that you know and understand that both of you are going to fall short of those rights and responsibilities and that you need to be patient with one another and I want to mention and emphasize that 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 is the case with the brothers and the sisters because often for the most minor things brothers want to divorce and for the most minor things sisters want to divorce so 
Do not rush into marriage if you're not really ready for marriage and be in it to win it. And also, I would also say that even for sisters, that it is often better that they marry someone a bit older. And the reason being is because a lot of the young brothers, and I'm not trying to cut off the young brothers, but I'm just trying to mention that generally women are generally more mature than men and mature faster than men. So an 18-year-old woman can be more, <laughs> more compatible with the 25-year-old man often uh, in in, in uh, many situations we see because when there are two youth, two 17-year-olds or two 18-year-olds or two 19-year-olds and they're mature and they have no family, then it is easy for them to look for a way out. Then the sister ends up with a child. So I'm not trying to put a negative, but I want you to go in these scenarios with open eyes and be wise. So it's very important that we know and understand this, that it, we shouldn't rush to just jump up, but that we have to be wise as brothers and sisters in the dean, and that requires patience. We also don't ex discourage, if you feel you're going to fall into the maharamat, to f discourage you from marriage. But we just want wisdom because we've seen countless, like 70, 80 percent divorces. This is uh, unacceptable Islamically. And may Allah bless us with tawfiq, ikhlas with the bat. Anything I said was uh, correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself, the shaitan, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyya Muhammad.